dead on arrival after being shot on Seiryu clan turf. It was a bloodbath. And the killers got away before the cops even showed up. Sounds like this isn't over by a long shot. Even as we speak, Captain Takabe is taking matters into his own hands with a truck full of Yakuza, all armed to the teeth. Doubt Chairman Hoshino even signed off on it. Here we are, outside the restaurant owned by the Liumang boss. Because I need an explanation for Tetsu and Kochi's death. The souls of those boys demand an apology. I can believe the dumb part. I'm told you tried to steal this. I know you're with the Seiryu clan. Yeah! You're damn straight! What a dumb cut. They edited the damn video! <laughs> Clearly. You're not with the Seiryu clan! Hmm. But just because you're not lying doesn't mean it's true. I need proof before I act. I gotta think like a leader, right? And that means setting a fucking example. You want evidence that Lao Ma killed the Soakland owner? Or so I presume? Well, so they well do know informed. everything. But do you have any? Probably. Come with me. This is easier than I thought it would be. Yeah, I'm not sure about this. Don't worry. Nobody that beautiful could be evil. If you don't start thinking with the right head, you're gonna get us all killed. Hello, and welcome back to Yakuza Like a Dragon. Uh, it's been about 15 seconds for me since uh, episode 11, because I cannot stop playing. It's... Uh, I just, w just want to keep going. I want to know what's next. So... Uh... I'm not even going to bother mentioning what happened before, because I usually do it previously on, and if you skipped it, well, go back and watch it. If you need to. I mean, we're just, we're, 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 we're invading this place. I want to jump right into it. Okay. You're going to be in a world of Hell yeah. And we are in love with Wind now. No, I... Why did I miss everyone else? No, I got another guy. Yeah. I really, I really want to change her out. It's, uh... It's okay, but I looked at the future moves, and it doesn't really get better. It, it's more of a debuff class. And I'm not really a that kind of person. I mean, debuffs are nice, but every every job is kind of nice. And I feel like it'd just be better suited doing more damage. It's probably it, it's a good AOE healer, I guess. But I haven't had a need to heal like at all. I'm hoping we start doing more damage. That'll be nice. Good deal. Don't beg for mercy now. You're in it now. All right. I don't know how long this dungeon is. I can't imagine it'll be too long. It just came out of nowhere, and there was no recommended level or anything. Should I open it? Got it. Metal shin cards. Guessing down here. No, nope, no. Nope. Shoes then. Straight up defense and melee. Oh, uh, we can just, uh. Kind of a big boost for you. Not for you. You lose quite a bit of agility, but that defense. Yeah. <laughs> All right, can I just climb? Okay. So just jump, okay, I just jump from here. Huh. 
lost sapphire or and a hand grenade. Okay, do I go up? Yes. Guardian water? This is a really narrow path to have four people just kind of blocking each other off here. Mmm, super spicy frankfurter. High-end kimchi. Oh! Oh, can I fall off? Raw platinum horn. Oh, I can go over there. Or I'm probably going to end up over there. Yep. What, do you want to jump? Um... Please don't tell me they're going to jump. That is... That is kind of high. What's up here? Oh, right, we're blocked off, so we have to cross. Um, isn't this a dead end? There weren't any other passage passageways, were there? Huh. Should be a way on the, up on the other side. But I only see that electrical wire to get us over. That's not safe. Hmm. Well, then let's cross really? it. What? You serious? Well, we don't have time to go looking for another way. Or the guarantee that we'll even find one. This is the <sighs> only way. I should have got insurance. Probably. While we're at it, let's... Maybe get some rubber shoes? Is that, does that help? How do we... Oh, okay. Just had to lean into it, I guess. All right. How's that for crossing over? I'm just happy to be alive. I seriously thought I was dead. You guys didn't look up my skirt, did you? What, that's what you're concerned about? That even... It, it was a horizontal... thing. I don't even know if that's possible. Hmm? Hmm? I feel like we're being watched. Now that you mention it, I'm getting pretty big murder mm -hmm. vibes. Really? Maybe it's just your imagination. We're in enemy territory. It doesn't hurt to be cautious. Let's scout the area yeah. to be safe. Yeah. I have a hunch that it's just one or two of them. Let's get the okay. upper hand and find them first. On it. What? Well, I mean... We found it. Hello? There it is. Okay. Uh, yeah, found you. It. There. Mm, oh, okay. Found it. Just... I already got you and you. Where the hell is it? Um, it's somewhere totally obvious. You know. Probably passed it like four fast. times. So if anyone sees it, just shout. Why is no one shouting? Where the hell is it? I don't know. I mean, I'm assuming they've got to be somewhere. Am I blind? Found it. Oh, he, he was a sneaky one. There were six of them. They caught us by surprise. You see? My hunch was right. Shh. Change of plans. Gather up. Let's go for a preemptive strike before they regroup. Yeah, that one... That one was legit. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I would have taken it. Taken that long for other people. Probably. Cool. 
like my Nanba face. He's. I should have given Breaker to everyone. Get four windmills going on. Although they usually get spread out after the first one. Not happy with either. Her barmaid one, too, wasn't very good. So I'm hoping the next one I give her to. Smack talk. Moving up in the world. Atlas Hole. Me go. Heal bash. Miraculous voice. I think that's uh heals status elements. I looked at her skills ahead of time, so. First aid. Should I open it? Sweet! Normally I just go to the menu and look, but I'm going to I'm going to just look at him in battle. Kill two birds with one stone. Steel hammer can't be used by anyone, right? That's a foreman weapon. Uh, I should be looking at the mini map. There's totally a path there. Yep, yep. Uh, never mind. All I had to do was jump this way. Muscle soda. Nanban. Hey guys. Walking through. Okay. Never mind. Oh. Deal unblockable damage to an enemy with repeated kicks from a handstand and boost defense. So it is maximum flare power medium, basically. Oh, they spread out while I was reading. Well, it's probably going to be the same exact animation, too. Oh, it, it continues. I see. Oh, I didn't look at you. I can guess what Smack Talk does, though. Yep. AoE Asuna. Oh what? You're gonna get stopped. Didn't you get a move? Shield bash, yes. Yeah. Power heavy heavy. Heavily dealing and yeah. Powerful shield strike. Powerful shield strike. It is strike down but and shield blast, but heavy. Let's try. It. Oh no, it has a different animation. Why do I think they all have the same animations? I think it's just because of the when I had the bat mighty swing, there was just an upgraded version of that. Silver. Should I open it? Got it. Is there gonna be a guy in it? Ooh, pirate hat. That's gotta be good. Magic and defense up. D just, just that. Plus seven defense. Like our helmets are very bad. I thought about just upgrading all of their helmets, but who's got the worst helmet? Oh, Nanban and her. Um, who's got less defense? 95 versus 100. Alright, Nanban, you get the pirate. Now you have more defense than her. Should I open it? Sweet! Oh my god. Oh, I was just in the menu. Protector. I had one on Nanban. Yep, yep. Straight up defense and melee. And I would say... She loses some healing. She gets the most benefit out of the defense, though. Yeah. That'll do. Ah! 
We're coming. Lady with interesting hair. What? What is it? Oh, nothing. A bug flew into my ear. A stupid thing. Go scare someone else. Took the words right out of my mouth. Tungsten. Getting a lot of crafting stuff. Ooh. No, no save point though. Oh yeah, gotta put stuff away. Okay. It's looking a little better in here. When did you guys end up here? Oh, right. So when you pick something up and you already have like the max amount of it, I think it puts it in here. Yeah, I have five out of five, so the next one I picked up. That's good to know. I wasn't Should aware I of that. Got it. Hold up. Ooh, did I just get... You had 13 attack? No wonder I was making fun of your damage. I forgot to upgrade you. Oh my god. That is a huge difference. All right, I want to see some Adachi damage now. Gleaming aluminum. Okay. Okay. Oh, hi. What? Hey. This is the heart of the Gomi Jewel. Komi Jewel. They'll probably do all they can to hold the fort. You ready for this? How do you know it's the heart of it? Okay. I won't look into it. <laughs> yeah, let's do this. Okay, then let's go. Very good. Well done, everyone. Hey. Yay. Allow me to apologize. We're not usually so uncouth. The guy who freed us from Mabuchi's chains. You remember me. I'm honored. Hey. Why bother saving us then just to attack us now? <laughs> I do apologize. The situation's a little complex. What's this guy's deal? I don't like him. Weren't you the one saying he was hot? Just because he's hot doesn't mean I like him. Was I supposed to know that face? I'm serving in a strategic role for the Komijul. My name is Jungi Han. Okay. Jungi Han? You want to tell us why your men attacked us? I simply wanted to see how strong you are. Actually, I ordered them not to kill you, no matter what happened in the fight. <laughs> and yet, I must admit, you still had me worried for a second there. No way, man. We didn't even break a sweat. Look, my hair's still perfect. Hell yeah. Does that make me strong enough for you? Yeah, for my men, yes. But for me... <laughs> why, I believe I could take all of you by myself. Say what? I happen to know why you're here, Kasuga. You're in quite the predicament. But there are things you don't yet grasp. If you like, I could explain things in greater detail. How about you spare us greater details and give us the short version? Very well. I'll focus on the part that's crucial for you to understand. Just give me a minute to figure out how to put it. So, even an idiot can comprehend. Okay. If you think calling me names is gonna get a rise out of me, think again. I like my life as an idiot. <laughs> I'm not trying to get a rise out of you. I like idiots myself. Now, this way, please. You are so a so party member. take us seriously at some point? <laughs> please. Just let it go. He really pisses me off for a hot guy. Okay, you always don't need to keep mentioning. Always the ones who piss you off the most. Yep, that's why I prefer to associate with you guys. Ooh. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing.
I think you might be the very first non-Komiju who ever passed through here. You should be grateful, or at least pretend to be. Hmm. That's a lot of cam- er, well, yeah, cameras. They just hack into the city feed, or do they have their own cameras? What in the world? This is the heart of our business interests in Ijincho. Security cameras all over town. Footage shot by undercover Komijul agents. Here, we see everything the cameras see. We have our own generators, too. But they're not enough to power such an advanced system. Mm. So, that's why... You have to jack innocent people's electricity? Uh, that's one way of putting it. But you must consider that we are recent arrivals in Ijincho. When we came, the Seriyu and Liumang were already at war over territory. The area we now call Komiju was the only scrap left to us. Still, we've managed to use it to produce a very in-demand commodity. Information, which it turns out is also an excellent weapon. Too good for regular weapons, huh? We are quite small compared to the Seiryu clan and the Liumong. We'd be the first to go down if it came to a real war. No. So, to survive, we have come to act as the balance between the other two. It's a strategy that has served us well, so far. You balance them? How? To give you an example, if a man from the Liumong entered Seiryu clan territory, we'd know it immediately and report it to our Seiryu contacts. And it wouldn't end there. We'd investigate the trespasser and use his friends or family as further leverage. Mm. So you see, we extinguish the sparks of war before they become fires. Though we do prefer that sparks don't fly in the first place. So really, this standoff in Yokohama isn't among three equal organizations. It's two big powerful ones, and a little one mediating between them. Exactly right. The Liumong and the Seiryu clan should be thanking us. <laughs> but they've never sent so much as a thank you note. What if someone does start a fire on purpose? Would the Komi Jewel do anything about it? It's case by case, but many times, that task would fall to us, yes. Sometimes all we have to do is apply a little pressure. But sometimes it calls for a heavier hand. It's all just business, of course. So what about Mabuchi? You managed to put out that spark yet? <laughs> He's still alive, if that's what you're asking. But take a look at the large monitor, if you would. Huh? This was recorded just moments before the death of Otohime Land's owner. You'll Sorry. see both Lao Ma and his men. Well, hey, this looks like rock solid proof to me. Hell yeah! This is exactly what we were looking for. We gotta I earn it. it. Would be. Anyone who watches this, even Zhao. We'll have to accept that Mabuchi is at fault. Nice. But Probably I can't hand edited. this over to you just yet. There's something else I want you to see. What's that? You'll see what I mean. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah. yeah this doesn't sound shady at all. Yo, can you lighten up, man? It's starting to rub off on me. You gonna show him something about Kasuga? That would be like what when he got tossed in the into Yokohama. That would be sweet. But I'm assuming they weren't watching then. What is all this? Come, have a closer look. It's not going to bite. What the hell is it?
Mountain Yen. Counterfeit bills. Hmm. More fake bills? Wait. Now, these are different from Mabuchi's. Yeah, what's up with that? Oh, these fakes are on a whole other level, I assure you. They make Mabuji's bills look like board game money. Put them side by side, and you'd see how sloppy his work is. These are made with a state-of-the-art printer. It can copy a bill down to each microline. <laughs> I was wondering if you'd turn up again. Happy to see me? I'm happy any time a good-looking woman turns up. It would have been sooner, but I had preparations to make. Yeah, I bet your maker routine's no joke. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. I like you. Ugh, can you two stop flirting? Oh, How about jealous. You tell us who you are already. I don't think the lady appreciates your tone. It's fine. Why don't you introduce me to them? <sighs> of course. Where does your ego end? To the patriarch? Everyone, allow me to present the leader of the Komijul. Song Hui. I see. Wait, you mean she's their leader? Komi Jewel's boss is a woman. Is that is that rare in y Yakuza? I'm, you I'm remember assuming. all that paper in Mabuchi's warehouse? The plain white paper inside the shipping boxes. Uh, you mean the stuff for steaming food? Yeah, I remember that. It's not for food. It's made with a very special compound. The Liomong import it from the mainland. They're a Chinese import company. Makes sense. The Japanese yen we make here uses the same paper. What? W wait. Do you steal the paper from the Liomong warehouse and make yen with it? Steal us? We don't need to stoop to that. We arranged for it to be brought here. <laughs> huh? What do you mean? The Komijul asked the Yokohama Liomang to procure the paper we needed. It's only stored temporarily in Mabuchi's warehouse. Then someone from the Liomang delivers it to us. Who brings it? And no. who did you arrange all this with? The Zhang. Oh, it Zhang. all goes through their no. boss, Zhao. Zhao knows you use the paper? Of course. How would we keep it a secret from him? So, the paper in the warehouse gets made into fake yen, not yuan? But then, where does the yuan come from? That another part of your business? Or is that the Liu Meng's piece of the action? Nope. It's neither. What? You know, this whole thing was kind of a fluke. One day, one of Mabuchi's men stumbled across a box of strange paper in the warehouse. It just so happened, this particular guy was a former counterfeiter. A light bulb went off in his head, and he told Mabuchi they could use the paper to make fake yuan. Mabuchi gave it a try, and voila, huge profits. Huh. So it wasn't even Mabuchi's idea in the first place. <laughs> Far be it from me to criticize others in the trade. But Mabuchi's not as smart as he thinks he is. He just got lucky one of his peons had a good idea. Does Xiao know that Mabuchi is making Yuan? Have you told him? I did. But Xiao already knew. He's just pretending that he doesn't. After all, it's not like he can order his men to stop printing Yuan. They'd ask where the paper was going. Not even Zhao could talk his way out of that. And he's not about to do anything that might risk his very profitable fake Yen operation. So he's willing to look the other way when it comes to Mabuchi's fake Yuan. It's logical. I'd do the same. Hmm. But does Mabuchi know the same paper is being used to make yen? No, what he takes to make you on is breakage. But I'm okay with breakage if it keeps Mabuchi in the dark. The only thing I care about is the paper continues to be customized for yen. Customized? Yes, legal currency always has a specific recipe. For yen, the main ingredient is a plant called Mitsumata. But the other ingredients, the mixture ratio, the manufacturing method, those are all state secrets. Which makes it almost impossible to copy. How the hell are you pulling it off? 
We have a contact at the Treasury who passed these secrets to us decades ago. That long ago? Why haven't the police caught wind of this operation? <laughs> if you're surprised by police incompetence, you're younger than I thought. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, trust me, I'm uh, older than I look. You know she's literally doing that on purpose, don't you? <laughs> the point is, almost nobody knows about these fake bills. So you better start explaining why you have one. Uh, mm. They do know. <sighs> I thought so. This bill is a misprint from our machine. It should have been destroyed. Tell me where you got this. Our surveillance network has been watching you ever since you arrived in the city. That's how we knew you had a fake bill. It's time for you to tell us the whole story behind it. In detail. That's why we brought you here. Well, you know... It's kind of a long story. Look, I know what you're thinking, but you're wrong. I don't know shit about that bill. You don't know anything? Not a damn thing. You know I won't hesitate to pull the trigger. Oh my god. Long cutscene again. I know. I don't even get to set a time out. You're a lady this. who does what needs to be done. I'm glad you recognize that. We've already reviewed every single frame of footage where you make an appearance. It does support your claim that you're clueless about the fake bill. It also showed you were bleeding out from a gunshot wound when you arrived. Is there anything you don't know? Yes, like why you're still here in Ijincho. You don't seem to have an actual goal or much of a purpose. Which I suppose That's makes sense, saying. given the way you look and behave. Ah, uh, kinda harsh there, don't you think? But the same can't be said about one of you. Isn't Nanba. that right, Nanba? Hey, well, what's this about? You showed up in Ijincho six months ago. The whole time, you were watching our building from the homeless camp. We saw you. What? How long did it take you to notice? Not long. But what caught our attention is you never showed interest in your campmates. Until the fake Bill. He only talked to me because the Chief asked him to heal me up, and- But why did he come with you on this journey? Is it the classic nurse in love with a patient story? No. He doesn't have Florence Nightingale syndrome. He's after something. Duh. Oh, what? <laughs> You knew the fake bill came from Number. us! Don't move. She's not finished. <sighs> Number. Just... <sighs> Where are you from? You need to start talking. Who are you? You, Namba. Former nurse. 41 years old. That's not what I'm asking. I'm Shoichi Akiba's older brother. All right? What? Shoichi Akiba? The journalist? Akiba was a pen name. His real name was Shoichi Namba. Hmm. It's all starting to make sense now. Did they kill what him? Is, what are you all talking about? About six months ago, a journalist heard rumors about our counterfeiting operation. That was Shoichi Akiba. He came here to Ijincho to investigate, but after just a few days, he disappeared. He disappeared? Don't play dumb! Hmm. <laughs> just before he went MIA, I got a message from him. He told me he was being watched. By the Komi Jewel. Now 
you tell me? Where is my brother? I get it now. You think you're on some kind of rescue mission, huh? I heard about Ijincho's great wall of muscle. How it protected the town from outsiders. So I pretended I was a local. By disguising yourself as a bum and joining their camp. Thinking you'd keep tabs on us because we're close to the homeless camp. Yeah. But unfortunately, I never got any leads. Not until you showed up, Ichiban. Ichiban doesn't like non-honesty. Dishonesty. It was back when <laughs> I saw that weird bill on you that I knew. I knew right off the bat that it was one of the fakes my brother had been chasing before he disappeared. I finally had a clue. So from that moment on, there was no way I was going to let you out of my sight. I figured you'd eventually tell me how you got it, and I'd get closer to finding my brother. Stupid part is... <laughs> every time you open your mouth, it became more and more obvious you knew less about it than I did. Pretty crazy, right? I had no idea. <laughs> Well, I figured out pretty quick you couldn't tell a lie if you wanted to. And since now I'm sure you don't know anything, not much reason for me to hang around. I was just planning to slip away soon anyway. Aww. And I wasn't even going to tell you guys when I did. I mean, what else am I supposed to do? Namba. I didn't want it to happen this way. I'm sorry, Ichiban. I'm sorry, everyone. This part is emotional. Nanchan. You bastards. What did you do to my brother? Did you kill him? At least tell me if he's still alive. Please, you owe me that much. That's all I'm asking. Then you can do whatever you want with me. But let Ichiban and the others go. I'm willing to die. But you know they aren't involved. Spare them. Please. That takes care of our little rat problem. Hopefully, he'll set a good example. The rest of you have the good fortune of being our guests. Hmm. Sounds like Zhao has taken a liking to you. This dude's alive. Yo, just a second. Where do you think you're taking him? You can't just take away my friend. Friend? Didn't you hear a word he just said? He's been lying to you because he thought it would get him closer to us. You call that a friend? I can think of a few better words to describe him. Yeah, good point. Friend isn't exactly the right word for Namba anymore. It's different now. So it's sinking in? The thing is... The only reason I say that Brother. is because friend doesn't even begin to describe him. Say it. What do you mean? He took care of me when I got dumped here. If it weren't for him, I wouldn't have survived the night. I owe my life to Namba, and that's a debt I can never repay him for. That guy back there is more than a friend. The yeah. only thing I would call him now is a brother! That's why I can totally understand why Namba went as far as he did to find his brother. Nothing about his reasons for lying to us about his real goal was out of self-interest. He did it for his family. So don't you dare 
Don't you dare drag him through the mud and pretend like you're any better! <sighs> You didn't forget I was here. Hey, weren't you the one saying you could stop us all by yourself? Shut up! What are you doing? Get us some backup! Are you gonna fight? Time to call your bluff. I'm taking you out! Let me Holy shit. Oh man. Oh, numbers out. That one almost got me. I was, uh. That was, that was a, that was a very, very good scene. Let's see. <sighs> I was not expecting that from Namba. Come on now. You're gonna be in a world. Well, oh. take this. Oh, that that actually hurts. How have you survived this long? I got this. Let's go. I'm good. I'm good. Huh? He's paralyzed. Okay. Okay. Smack to the face. Cool. I haven't had time to process yet. Come on. Make him bleed. Um, uh, attack up. Oh, he has multiple shots. How did I guard that? That was so lucky. Let's go for a crit. Holy shit. Good to be back. All right. Okay. Oh, you were so close to death. Check this out. There we go. He's bleeding. Let's go. Mm, go for paralysis again. Didn't get it. Yeah, we're gonna heal. Try this on the side. Let's do this together. <laughs> that was a big Take heal this. too. A gift for you. Oh, I almost touched that. Go, hey, on. Come on now. Oh, I should have done the other one. <laughs> Some of the rag dolling. Can't block one. You'll be fine. I'm gonna heal again. I'm up. Come on. Yeah. Finish him off. No one else? I feel the stats going up. Nice. Should give Nanba some experience. You're better than I thought. Yep. Namba, let's get out of here. Ichiban, get up. There's more of them coming. Come on, you can do it. All right, jeez, I'm up. Just for fighting our way out. This this has been the most consistent story-driven episode since the uh, first one. That was it was a really long episode. Too. Oh, I hit it early. Yeah. Yeah. 
got this. Let's go. Sure. Come here. Maybe I'll hit three. Almost four. Okay, that's that's not fair. You're you're gonna be Bam. Oh he lived. No no no. Oh. oh he's still charmed. Nice. Um Why did I do that? I thought I thought the invisible guy behind him would somehow get hit. Oh shit. I heard a little bit. Why is Namba not fighting? He wasn't beating that bad. He was tased. Now you've done it, Ichiban Kasuga. And here I thought you were just a cute idiot. Here I thought you were just a tough babe. Too bad you're actually a gullible dumbass. Too nosy for his own good. Wow. Well, too bad you're actually a wacko psycho chick. <laughs> That's almost charming coming from you. They get along. It's a shame that you need to die. Uh, backhanded compliments are getting old. Just get the hell out of our way before we beat your sorry ass. Don't let them leave here alive. Take them out. Didn't you have a gun? Everything froze. Okay. Let's beat him down. Let's go. Too spread out for that. I got this. Um, paralysis. On the brawler. I'm not down. Oh. Okay. Here we go. Nice. No, I almost missed that. Oh, I didn't miss that one. That's hard to time. You just you wait and you're like, oh, go off already. Right. Mm. Oh, wrong one. Oh, well. Wow. Too late. I hit it perfectly. You, you're, you're wrong. I was right. That was bad. That 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 was all. Try this on the side. Come on. His name is No. Let's go. One thing I hide on the, the webcam in the top right is like the list of names of enemies. It's got their actual names. Come and get them. More? Damn it. Hey, Namba. What? What is it? You feel strong enough to run? Uh, yeah, can manage. Okay. Good. Get out of here while you can. We'll hold them off. We always choose fight. No. Uh, no time to argue. Go. What about you guys? We'll figure something out. But if you don't make it, who's gonna find your brother? Aren't you? Aren't you mad at me for not telling you about him? I knew you my life, man. Don't you realize? If you'd been honest from the start, I would have helped you anyhow. And we'd have ended up exactly where we are now. Holes deep in trouble. So what cool. Ichiban. Thank you. But I can't just leave you all here. That's okay. 
I'm balls deep in this too. Why are we Me saying too. balls I'm deep? Balls... Well, I share the sentiment. Okay. Dachi san. Such a. You're all sure about this? Shut up. Get going already. All right. Hey, don't let him get away. Sure. No more playing chase. How okay. about actually fighting us, Songwei san? Or are you scared? Oh, you little. Hey, calm down. Getting mad will give you stress wrinkles. Ooh. Yeah. Isn't it smooth skin a big thing for chicks like you? All your flirting with the guys will be for nothing if you get all angry now. Oh, you bunch of punks! You need to watch your fucking mouths! Mm-hmm. So, am I fighting her? No, nope, she's still on the sidelines. Don't miss that crit. Great. Right. Rowing knife. I missed all three of those. You know what? You don't get another one of those. Let's go. Get him. Finish him. There we go. Can I charm you? Yeah. Alright, you're busy. So, now do I fight you? Seems I've underestimated you, Ichiban Kasuga. You even know how to fight? Then, how about we call it a day, if you don't mind? That depends on what he says. Huh? Oh, God damn it! Fine. You still want to fight, Jungi Han? Arata, nambanen ijin choza pandeshi choba. I'm sorry, ma'am, but Namba managed to slip away. Shit. <laughs> Good job, Namba. Quiet. You don't understand what you've done. Sure I do. We saved our friend from getting murdered. What's it to you? If he leaks the secrets of our operation, we'll lose any control we had, and Ijincho will crumble. Crumble? But don't you think you're being a bit dramatic? And if the fake money dries up, wouldn't that cut down on crime? None of you understand. I'm telling you, the city would grind to a halt. Mm. We can't allow that to happen. Does that mean you're not giving up on snaring Namba then? Of course not. Until he scales the Great Wall, he's fair game. The Komi Jewel will use every resource at its disposal to find him. Say you actually find him. Then what? We kill him, obviously. You mm -mm. set on that? Mm -mm. <laughs> of course. <sighs> well, I guess we're doing this. Doing what? My pals and I will help Namba escape, since you insist on murdering him. I guess we'll just see which side gives up first. This will be exciting. <sighs> You're not funny. I'm not trying to be. I'm serious. Haven't you figured out what kind of guy I am yet? A hero! Yeah, a pain in the ass. Don't be like that. I know you're head over heels for me. So, can't you just let Namba go? He's not gonna go around spreading your secret. Well, wow. it's not just my secret. So I can't make the decision by myself. But, you're the leader of the Komi Jewel. If you just give the word... Kasuga. What? 2 a.m. tonight, Heian Tower in Chinatown. Be there. There's a man I'd like Ooh. you to meet. Whether Namba lives or dies will be up to him. Who is he? Don't be late. Will you join the party? What's going to go it. down at Heian Tower? Your guess is as good as mine, man. What are we going to do until 2 a.m.? Actually... 
There's something I want to look into Well, we got the time. What's that? For six months, Nanba pretended to be a bump so he could watch the Komi Jewel. That's what they said, wasn't it? Yeah. Song Hui mentioned it. He must have had a lot of stuff at the homeless camp to live there so long. It's probably still there. I want to check, at least. There might be a clue that would tell us where he'd go if he had to hide, you know? Uh, not a bad idea, but can't take Psycho to a smelly hobo camp. Dude, what? I'm going too. Don't even think about pulling that card. They're all bros. Namba left the party. That sucks. Let's go. We get Nanba ASAP or I will be in an uproar. A side quest. No, hell no. We're either doing a 12.5 or a 13.5 and I will do all of this shit. It'll be like a four-hour episode. Oh, maybe. What are we at? 55? Okay. Alright. Gonna take a quick minute. Get everything set up. I, I, don't, I, I got his gear back. I don't, I don't like that. I went to go optimize... And, and it gave me non-bus gear. <sighs> I think we're, we're actually really close. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep focusing on story because I'm really, uh, re really ready to see mm -hmm. what happens next. Mm -hmm. Which, I have been the whole time, but more so right now. Especially since I don't have Namba. Oh, she's still there. My, my summon. Oh, she just gave me some pork soup? Thank you. Let's see what happens. Hey. This is no place to bring a proper lady, you know. Chief. What happened to Nanba Ichi-chan? Excuse Ichi me. Ban. Well, he got himself into some trouble, so we'd like to take a look at his stuff. You're just gonna dig through your friend's stuff without his permission? It's our only hope of saving him. Don't get us wrong. <laughs> I see. I won't stop you then. We'll leave as soon as we're done. Really small space. Man, kind of nostalgic being back, coming back here. Here it is. Uh, what is that smell? Some combination of sweat okay. and mold. Yeah, it reeks in here. See that? See anything that might help us find hey. out where he is? Hey, what about in there? A laptop in the homeless camp? A laptop? Not exactly a common homeless commodity. <laughs> I'd say that's right on the money. Really? How do you use this thing? What do you type? Typing. I'm doing some searches that'll comb through the whole hard drive. Mm -hmm. Searches? Yeah, if the search gets a hit, check out the mm. phone. A uh, hit? Hey. Just shut up and watch, would you? I'm not much of a computer guy myself. Let's let her handle this one. Sachon, you know about computers and stuff? Well, I did my club's books, so I learned enough. Am I finally earning some respect around here? Absolutely. Please be our sage in this faded hour. Mm -hmm. Hmm, this one's suspicious. Eugene Cho Incident Draft Version 2. Yeah, let's see what's in that one. Hey, you know how to use computers, too? Well, I clearly know more than you do. <sighs> you traitor. 
Was this an article he was writing for a magazine? It says it's written by Shoichi Akiba. <clears throat> Shoichi Akiba. That's Nanba. Nanba's brother. Yeah. Uh, mysterious fake money emerges in Idincho. The truth behind the rumors. What are the counterfeit bills? The truth behind the rumors. Yo. Hmm. Check it out. It says the rumors about the fake money started over 50 years ago. He really did his homework on all these doc documents. Namba's brother is pretty hey good. Yeah. Hey, is this true? It says the fake money can be traced to the chair of the Citizens Liberal mm -hmm. Party. That would be an o Ogi Kubo, right? He's at the top of the political party. Well, Yoki Yokohama is o Ogi Kubo's district, so but it doesn't seem likely that he would go all the way up to him. He'll be chairman, Yutaka Ogi Kubo. Counterfeit money ended up in party veteran Ogi Kubo's pocket. Yutaka Ogi, Ogi Kubo. What's his okay. deal? He's almost 80 years old, making him the oldest of the member of the CLP. But people say the Prime Minister himself is just Ogi Kubo's yes man. He's got major political clout. Some kind of. Sounds like some kind of fixer. Mm. Sounds shady as hell to me. Actually, he's never been dragged into anything scandalous over his years, unlike most of the big politicians. It's probably how he stuck around so long, to be honest. But theoretically, if the money is going to Ogi Kubo, uh, does that mean he's linked to the Komi Jewel and that purple haired <laughs> harpy? But in that case, it wouldn't just be the Komi Jewel. Zhao from the Leo Mong and would have to be in on it. He's the one providing the paper, right? It's giving this article. I don't think there's much of a smoking gun here. So all this business about o Ogi Kubo being involved is just unsubstantiated rumors. Okay. True. Even if the article went out, it'd just be li libelous, I think. And people would write, probably write it off as being gossip or tabloid nonsense. But as for us, we actually know the fake money exists. Right. Which means we have to assume there's some kernel of truth in this article. But even with that being said, isn't it kind of a stretch to connect Ogi Kubo to the counterfeiting? I see. Hmm. Something just doesn't make sense. Or something just made sense. What did? Namba knew his, about his brother's article from the start of the whole thing. So when he saw the misprinted fake bill that I had on me, he played dumb. But it must have made him jumpy. No doubt. It's probably when he realized his brother's story had some truth to it, after all. And it was also probably probably his first sign of hope in a long time. That's gotta be why he latched on to me like Damn. he did. Damn it. I wish I would have noticed sooner. He didn't do anything wrong. So, Gomi Jewel's boss still has your bill? Yeah. I'll have to get it back from her next time we meet. You think she, she'll just hand it back to you? Probably not. Let's focus, guys. The only thing we've learned here is Ogi Kubo's name. <sighs> There's nothing here that would give us any hints about where Nanbo went. We're meeting up with her at 2 a.m., right? Yep. Yeah. We should probably start heading to Hay Hayen Tower. Ah, oh, I didn't hear how she pronounced it. Uh, you think the person she wants to m us to meet is Ogi Kubo himself? A politician? No way. Sounded like I said that wrong. <laughs> more, more of a no way. Sometimes I, I can read everything in their voice in my head, and then I'm like, "Why does my voice always sound identical?" <laughs> I can't do the whole multi-voice voice acting. No wish I could. I love voice actors. Ichiban. Excuse me. Chief, is there anything you can tell us about Namba? Maybe how or when he got here? Anything? Yeah. 
No. Our past is an off-limits topic around here. Only people who can change the present want to talk about the past. I couldn't even tell you if Namba is his real name. Oh, actually, that's, that's his <laughs> real name. Then you already know more about him than I do. Suppose I do, huh? I'll get- I get you, though. Thanks. Yeah. Well, I think we have enough time to go meet with them. Want to. <laughs> oh, I don't have a taxi near there. You're close enough. Taxi! You know what? This one's a little... It's not closer, but I can take a route that I've never seen before. Seems more interesting. Okay. Oh, sorry. I... Camera. Ca camera problems. Gotta search. Gotta search. Never been here. Nothing here. Nope. Just ran up this thing for no reason. Can I go in here? No. <sighs> when you ask the question, but the minimap already told you. Hmm. I don't know why I'm running down here, but... Oh, you're open. What are you guys doing? Oh. See ya. Okay. Fast travel unlocked. Nah. We're, we're, we're good. Oh god. It turned me all around. Hmm? Apparently you have to pick up uh, a ton of money from treasure hunts to, to get a challenge for the vending machine. Sega? Sega? Mm. Oh no. See, I'm not even I'm not even doing side quests and I get distracted. Should I open it? Got it. Oh, and I got an upgrade for musician and don't have a musician. I hope there's a way later to change from day to night. We'll help you quick. I was going to souvenir shopping when all of a sudden I got mugged and the police are nowhere to be found. This could get rough. I'm the hero you need. Don't butt in when people are talking. I'll collect from your ass too. Come on. We only have three people. Right. Sad day. Try this on the side. Charmed. Nope. I'm up. That was probably loud. You're gonna get Shit bash. Go in here. I swear to God. How'd you get over there? If we get there and they're like, here's another dungeon. I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be excited and mad. I want to do a dungeon without Nama. We have to be getting another character soon. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, I forgot. I forgot that I switched out his shield and he does way more damage. I guess going on a shopping spree in a heavily populated area comes with its own risks. I don't run into any more trouble during my vacation here. I'll ask for you again. Yep. With finesse. Uh, for work gloves. Um, twenty dexterity. You know what that means? No, really. Do do you? At this point, I'm not looking it up. Just just, just because. Hey, buddy, looking for an on, on the go snack? Why not have a shark fin bun? I tried uh, a lot of it in my time. Being that I'm a gourmand and all, but nothing beats shark fin, let me tell you. Okay. 
Sure. Hmm. Yep. Yep. Hmm? This is what you get for hanging out in a populated area. Hmm? You're really easy to run through. Tojo Clan Crest. Where'd I have to meet him? A hotel and somewhere. Hmm? Bronze plate. Oh no 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 no! They're, they're Oh, no, I should have just went for the story. Okay, guys. Okay. Let's poison him. I'm gonna... We've seen Nancy Chan quite a few times. Oh, does that just skip the first scene? I'm usually the kind of person who, like, uh, I will not skip a special ever in a game, and it will it will drastically increase my playtime. I've I've never done this whole skipping thing until now, but I watched it a few times. I got this. Yeah, you're going down. Dead. Feeling, feeling okay? Here we go. That was that was different. Shield bash. Last. Okay. Finish him. Who's gonna be big? 206. The enemy is defeated. Okay. Oh, man. Hmm? Might as well see. You never know. I could run into one of these and get like 100,000 in one, one pickup. Then it'd be like, oh, I can afford that sword. Oh, I should have saved. Uh, hey, hey, and Tower. Huh? Pretty fancy spot. Think they'll treat us to a meal? If that was the case, you wouldn't even have to uh, even pass the dress code. Huh? Why? Besides, it says right on the door. No Yakuza or ex-Yakuza allowed. For real? Seriously? It was a joke, dummy. We're not here to eat regardless. Don't tease. I've never, I never got to come to these kind Listen. of places. What about me, though? Would would my clothes pass? <laughs> I'd say you're in the same boat as Ichiban. <sighs> you look like you're about to fly a plane. I knew hey. I should have changed. As I was saying, we're not here to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Guess not. Shall we then? We shall. Uh, nobody's here. You sure this is the place? Aw, are you scared? Don't be so wimpy. I thought you were a cop. That was a long time ago. I'm a driving instructor now. Ah, Dachi-san's just allergic to fancy restaurants, that's all. He's a man of basic tastes. It's true. I only ever go to fast food joints. Ugh, that's so gross. Also true. Right on time. But everyone's already inside, waiting for you. Well, okay. we weren't late, so you don't get an apology. And I wasn't expecting one. I just thought I'd let you know. Of course, now you're making them wait further. And who is them, by the way? You'll see. Go in, please. There's no need to worry, Kasuga-san. You have the Jungihan guarantee that no harm will come to you here. Okay. Hard to trust the guy who was pointing a gun at me just a few hours ago. Ah, but now we are outside the bounds of the Great Wall of Muscle. That changes things. Come in! That was Song Hui. Here we go. Ugh. 
Oh no. Yo, Casa All three of them. How you doing? Shao. And What's up with the old guy? Watch it. That's Ryuhei Hoshino, the Seiryu clan chairman. What? But if he's here, then that would mean they're... Yeah. The Aegean Three. All the leaders gathered in the same spot. Kasuga, think you can tell us what the hell is going on here? <sighs> Oh, you ended the chapter that way? How dare you? Can't believe that was the end of chapter seven. All right, chapter eight, bleached black. Please, step inside. Oh God, how long is this gonna be? Hey. Aren't these three supposed to be fighting a war? Supposed to be. Kind of a weird place for us to meet, Chairman Hoshino. Especially considering the three of you look more like you're ready to have a tea party than tear each other's throats out. Usually we meet only once a year. Unless there's a need to share information face to face. As we must now. We always do what it takes to keep the Great Wall intact. Your men are killing each other out there. You don't want to stop them? Stop them? Two of my youngest men were gunned down without mercy. Liamang Turf's been raided right up to the perimeter of their base. Mm, he's right there. There's no stopping any of it now. At this point, whoever retreats first will have lost the war. I can't lay down my spear until that happens. That's pretty much the same deal for me. So then why are you two here? Gonna decide the war over a game of cards? <laughs> Not the worst idea. What the fuck? People are dying! And meanwhile you three are just hanging out playing nice? Think your men would approve? Probably. Do any of you even care what your own people think? Kasuga. There's no need to throw fits about what you don't understand. Do you know right now Captain Takabe is Xiao's prisoner? <laughs> prisoner? We're treating him more like an uninvited guest. Honestly, I'd let him go if I had one good reason to. I just don't, that's all. So you're going to sit here and do nothing? Just let the chips fall where they may? That's how it needs to be. A bunch more pointless deaths is how it needs to be? They're not pointless. Our men's willingness to fight is the entire reason we're able to serve as checks on each other. As long as the triangle remains balanced, it can hold firm against outside pressure. That's much like how Japan established separation of powers after the end of its dictatorship. It's not perfect, but it's the best solution we have. Do you see the logic there? Oh boy, a post-war history lesson. What? That's what you're comparing it to, right? Yes, because it's relevant. The post-war period is when the town's lines of power were drawn. Huh? The black market was born from the ashes of the war. It laid the foundation for modern-day Jincho. Back then, the Seiryu clan was thriving. But in Chinatown, two rival Chinese gangs were competing for dominance. The winner of that fight prospers in Chinatown to this day. The gang that lost became the Yokohama Liuman. They were driven out of Chinatown and into Ijincho. But the Seiryu clan wasn't about to take that kind of invasion lying down. For a time, Gutters practically ran with Liu Mang and Seiryu blood. 
Man, you're gonna lecture until the bell rings, Professor? You want to understand what's going on? Then you need the history, you smartass. If you want to understand the fake money, that is. The Seiryu clan knows about that? Yes. All the fake money printed by the Komi Jewel goes through me. But doesn't that mean the Seiryu clan is the real puppet master behind all this? How do you figure that? Mabuchi started forging Chinese Yuan, sure. But only because of the counterfeit yen. I think I'm starting to figure all this out. The Liu Mang brings in the paper. The Komi Jewel prints the bills. But then, the Seiryu clan keeps all the profit? Wait. Are you all in this together? Kasuga-kun, calm down. You're jumping to conclusions. He's gonna because lose Because I'm it. pissed off right now. First I'm kidnapped, accused of being a Seiryu Yakuza, then blamed for being the spark that ignites a war, nearly killed over Namba's thing. Now I'm here with the Eijing Three, who, by the way, don't even give a shit about the war. Tell me, why should I calm down? He's got a point. And you, with your damn Seiryu clan, you're the one getting the most out of this! No, because we're not the final destination of the fake yen. That will be Yutaka Ogikubo's pocket. Uh, of course. Yutaka Ogikubo? I saw his name in an article. He's some big shot in the Citizens' Liberal Party. All three of you are working together to support him politically? Why? Oh, if they get left alone? Uh, suddenly my history lesson seems relevant, doesn't it? Fine, get on with it. Ogikubo is the man who proposed making fake money in a Jincho. This is idea. This was 60 years ago. He pitched the idea to the first Seiryu chairman and first Liu Mang boss. A politician suggested committing federal crime to a bunch of gangsters? For real? Surprise. At the time, Ogikubo was only a member of the city council. But he saw the fights breaking out between the long-established Seiryu clan and the newly arrived Liu Mang. He understood it was, in essence, a turf war. Knowing that, he looked for solutions to stop the bloodshed. Solutions that would save lives. And eventually, he managed to find an answer. Fake money, of all things. Industry. Which in this case is, yes, fake money. Okikubo split the roles up evenly. That way, both organizations would have a common goal. The Liu Mang would import mm -hmm. special paper, the Seryu clan would print and transport the money. How did Ogi Kubo know the counterfeiting process? Well, he didn't at first. But since he had faith in his plan and a desire for peace, he used every single connection he had to collect the raw materials, plus the recipe. Counterfeiting wasn't that difficult back then. Currency didn't have all the security features it has now. It's only gotten harder over the years. But anyway, after the first batch was printed, Agikubo used it to bribe the cops. The cops? Not the Seiryu clan or the Liu Mang? There would have been no point in paying off those two. That conflict goes deeper. Okikubo understood that. Okay, but why give it to the police? They wanted to control them, of course. And in the blink mm -hmm. of an eye, they became his loyal servants. That ought to surprise no one given how corruptible law enforcement tends to be. Anyway, Ogikubo had his new minions in uniform crack down on one certain region of Ijincho. Well, that doesn't sound like such a bad thing. Yeah, he was making the city safer, right? Now, that was just a side effect of what he really wanted. To squash every attempt by the Seiryu to drive out the Liuman. All police resources were dedicated to that one goal. It created what? a tiny pocket of Ijincho that was essentially violence-free. Well, I bet that worked out great for the Leo Mung. Oh, and you're the sharp one, I take it. Yes. That zone became the Liu Mung's home. So there it was. A place controlled by a criminal organization, but with low crime. The first Gray zone. And the Seiryu clan just accepted that. Hmm? Why would they give up their territory and all oh. its income streams like that? Because they were getting continuous payouts from the counterfeiting operation. And that wasn't the only thing. 
Anytime one of us did something that normally would have landed us in hot water, Okikubo would contain it. He kept it off police reports. That kept us from losing men to the law. So there were plenty of benefits for us. All while we kept our honor. This Ogikubo is a pretty shrewd guy. Take him down. He just used some old tricks every politician knows. Oh. Perhaps. But do you understand now how we benefit from him? Yeah. Yeah, I get it. And my people reap those benefits also. In the 80s, the Komijo was saved by the Ijincho Grey Zone. How? Our parent organization was the Jingon Mafia, which formed decades ago in Korea. Even only a few years ago, he was a body double for their leader. But every time oh. the Jingon Mafia got crushed, some of its people would drift to Ijincho. My mother was one of those. I was young when she brought me here. Ijincho was a breath of fresh air after living so long under their ridiculous code. More and more people heard about the relief we found here. So more came. But then our safety was threatened by something else. As our numbers grew, so did our clashes with the Yokohama Liomong. You started fighting them? Not outright. Ogikubo stepped in. Right before a real war erupted. He brought us a proposal. That we take over the Seiryu's counterfeiting business. It was an offer of steady income and safe territory. How could we refuse? In return, we would perform the surveillance necessary to contain the secret. That's how we started to build a system that now monitors every inch of Ijincho. It became our way okay. to contribute to the smooth running of Ijincho, alongside the Seiryu and Liomang. So that's the origin story behind the Ijin 3. <laughs> Ever since, we've all supported Ogikubo. And he's supported us in kind. He used the huge streams of money from us to secure his seat at the helm of the Citizens' Liberal Party. Now, no one in the cabinet can speak against him. After masterminding a way to bring peace to the city, he moved up in the world. Well, there are worse ways to climb the ladder, but I can't condone it. It's still a cover-up. <laughs> really? So you would say even perfect results don't matter if the methods are flawed? What about the police themselves? What about their alliance with all the Yakuza which grew from the scorched earth of post-war Japan? Light and dark joined hands to rebuild, and that's how we got where we are today. Okay. You can't deny the ends justify the means. Ah, well... What does it even matter what happened? Who cares about that stuff right now? It's all in Eugene Show's past. What we gotta think about is its future. So why'd you call us here? What do you want? <laughs> What's the Eugene 3 gonna do with us and Namba? This could get Your ugly. friend Namba Kun, during his search for his brother, spied on us and invaded our privacy. I assume he began with the fake bills because that was his brother's subject of investigation. But he was reckless, digging through Komi Jewel affairs like a rabid raccoon. Right from the start, he's refused to show any respect to the Eugene 3. Now he's seen the counterfeiting for himself, and we have no idea where he is. Good. We must ensure his permanent silence. Why are you telling us this? You looking to make a deal for his life or something? They all know. A deal? Kasuga, under most circumstances, all your lives would be forfeit. <laughs> but I have some idea of how this fake bill ended up in your pocket. How what? do you? Huh? You do? Out of respect for this person, I will look the other way. But who the hell was it? Oh, if you clear. really want to know, you'll have to bring Namba to me, personally. We no. can't do that to Nanchan. Sure is tempting. Not Custom, even. But I'll pass. Okay. Nothing I need to know so bad that I'd sell out a friend. So we done here? 
You do realize, if word gets out about the counterfeiting, the Great Wall will crumble. The hell is your Great Wall? And that means the Bleach end the of the Grey Zone. Yeah, that would suck. For you. Look, the Great Wall keeps the peace with less than honorable means, sure. But it provides a safe haven for desperate souls with nowhere left to turn. Yeah, man, I get all that. Well, here's what you don't get, you moron. When we say no one gets in, that includes the Tojo clan and the Omi Alliance. So see, if we're talking about people who owe their lives to the Grey Zone, you're one of them, Kasuga-kun. Uh, what? After you, could you were take shot, the only reason the Omi didn't finish you off is because you were inside the zone. What are you trying to say? That I owe something to the city? Go ahead and act like you're above it all. But you've benefited from our operation as much as any of us. Fine. Still doesn't mean I'm gonna sell out a friend. Before you insist on that, I have something important to say. Yeah, what? We already have assassins hunting Namba. Mm -hmm. What the hell? Who's assassins? Mine. Somebody had to step up. That's stepping up in your book? Hunting an innocent man? Unlike you, Kasuga. I don't turn down attractive offers. But don't worry. I told my guys to make it painless. But, uh, my men have gotten a little rough lately. You son of a bitch. Call him off! No can do. I think one death for the sake of the whole city is worth the price. What do you say to our offer now? If you refuse, Namba will die. But aren't you gonna kill him all the same if we bring him to you? Instead of worrying about that, worry about getting to him first. Your clock's ticking. Hey, we don't even know where to look. I may have an idea. Well, there you go. So, Kasuga, given all this, what will you do? I mean, guess I'm rescuing Namba from your stupid assassins. Are you coming with? Oh, man. Namba's in a pretty tight spot. Hey, yeah. Who gave you that fake bell? I'm worried about Nanchan, of course, but that's got me curious. Alright, just in case this starts going into a cutscene, I'm just gonna... End it. You wanna know where Namba-san is right now, Kasuga-san? You already found no. him? All I said was I have an idea. I can't be certain. But the Yokohama Leomong are searching for him on their own terms. Uh, this is gonna lead into something. I want to find Namba. So it looks like Sidetracked is gonna have to wait. I was, I was gonna suggest doing it right here. But nope, I'm finding Namba. So next episode, main story for sure. Uh, but that's it for this one. We had a lot of story this time. A lot. I, I felt it felt like episode one all over again. I was just sitting back, letting the controller die because too much time passed. But I had fun. And almost got close to being a little sad. But I knew I, I knew Namba was never gonna he he got out, thank God. I just hope we find him and he's okay. Because if we, like, lose him, I ain't going to find a better break dancer. Nope. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.